Okay, this is called the Color Sense Wands or the Color Wands. Basically, you say I have, um, it comes with three wands, three different colors. When you start it off, tell the kids we're not going to use a green one. So we put the green one down. Also, yours might be different colors. They're probably going to be these colors, but I don't know if they're ever going to send me a batch with different colors. But we'll assume they're always going to be red, green, and blue for now. You tell the kids I have a red and a blue wand. You say nothing in my bag. You say nothing behind my back. I'm going to drop them in the bag, and I'm going to figure out which color I take out without ever looking at it. Now, before you even start the trick, you can even give it out to someone, and you know they can touch the wands, see that they're normal little wands. All right, so I'm going to drop them in the bag. I'm going to shake them up. I'm going to put it behind my back. All right, so I'm going to reach in the bag. So you tell the kids what you're doing. I'm reaching in. I'm going to take one out. I'm going to crumple up the bag and drop the bag on the floor. And now I'm going to figure out what color I took out. I'll bet you I took out the red one, and then you take it out, and you say, got it. Okay, and then you have to explain to the kids, well, if they don't understand the trick, say, without ever looking at it, I could tell what color it was when it was behind my back. And then you explain to the kids what's the secret. These are special wands. The tips twist and come off. Okay? On the blue one, both of them twist and come off. On the red one, neither one of them twists and comes off. So when it's behind my back, I'm taking it and I'm just twisting it. If it doesn't move, I know it's red. Okay? If the blue one, when I do this, it twists, I know on both of them it's blue. Now, if the little kids can't twist it, if they're having a little trouble with that, you can tell them they can actually pop it off. Make sure then when they know the color, they put it back on. The reason you shouldn't really encourage this is it makes a noise, and I don't want them to hear that noise. If you can do it quietly, just pull it slowly off, that's fine, and then put it back on. Okay? So, here is how I tell the kids how you remember which is which. Okay, the blue one, both of the tips move on the blue. blue uh, both starts with the word a letter B, and blue starts with the letter B. So on the blue, one of them, and the other one, both of them twist or come off. So B starts with blue, both starts with blue, that's how you know the blue one. Red one, I tell the kids, what do you do at a red light? You stop. Nothing moves at a red light. On the red one, neither one of them moves. So on the red one, neither one of them moves. The green one, which we're not going to use now, I'll explain this in a second, but on the green one, only one of them twists off or comes off. Okay, so let's do the trick once together again. So here's what you tell the kids. You say to them, and this is when you're going to practice it with the kids, so everyone holds up their red and their blue wand. Say, I have two wands, a red and a blue one. You say nothing in the bag. You say nothing behind my back. Now, you have to tell mom and dad what you're doing. So you tell them that I'm going to drop the wands in the bag. And remember, they can, give, they can tell mom and dad, here, you can hold the wands for a second. Then you drop the wands in the bag. You say, watch this, I'm going to mix them up. Mom and dad can also mix them up and tell them. Then you say, I'm not going to look. I'm going to put them behind my back. I'm going to reach in the bag, so everyone's reaching in the bag now, okay, they don't turn around, but that's what they're doing, they take out one wand, then you tell them to close the bag, crumple it up, drop it on the floor, okay, now tell the kids, now is when they do their magic, so the kids are doing this, they're going to twist, tell the kids to twist and see if it comes off, or twists off, okay, once they know, they can then say, you know what, I'm not going to look, but I'll bet I have whatever color, so I'll bet I have red, and I take out my red and say, got it. At the end of it, you can take it all out. You can give it to someone and say, well, actually, you can just show them it. If you give it to them, just give it to them for a second. You don't want them to have it for too long because maybe they might start playing around with it. Okay, so that's how you do that. The green one, like I said, is the exact same way. I would not use a green one if you got a lot of really little kids because it might be too confusing. There's too many steps. But if you've got a bunch of 7-year-olds, 8-year-olds, whatever, and you have time, definitely tell them how you use the green one. You can tell everyone how you use it, but if you want to practice with the green one, that's fine. You make the call on that. And the only thing you have to remember is on the green one, only one of them comes off. So I tell the kids, if it's blue, both of them come off, so that's how you know blue. If it's red, neither one of them moves, so you know it's red. And if it's not one of these two, the only one that's left, if you can't remember, is the green one. So the process of elimination will remind you of the green one. Um, so use your own judgment on that one. Um, oh, and tell the kids also one other thing. Don't force it. Like, don't take it and just try and rip it off as hard as you can. Because there is a good chance they might take the red one and they might actually rip it right off. And if that happens, I guess you're going to have to glue it on, glue it back at home. And that's it.